Hello friends, Amy here with Hello Thrifty. Just sitting out here in this beautiful sunshine, watching my kids play on the trampoline. They'll probably grow bored of it in about four minutes. Their attention span is not great. Um, but I thought I'd take this time to record an intro for all of these clips that I've been making this week. Um, I have taken clips of the majority, but not all of my sales. have had a lot of low dollar sales that I didn't think were very interesting. Just things I was trying to clear out. But um, despite the uh, state of the world, eBay has been on fire and um, Poshmark hadn't been doing too bad. So I uh, thought I would just share with you guys what has been selling during the pandemic. So enjoy these clips. See you later. Here's the first batch I'm gonna get shipped out this Monday morning. I'll just go through and tell you a little bit about where I got it and what it sold for. Um, first, I have these Cubitron file belts, and you'll see several things that I am shipping out today came from a liquidation store. Um, I think it's a chain. I'm not sure how regional it is. Um, they had advertised extra 75% off their yellow tags and yellow tags are the items that they are trying to clear out. Um, the initial deals at this store are not good. They're almost retail, but they mark them down gradually. And, um, I have never experienced them having a 75% off yellow tag sale before. Um, so I went and this was right before the uh, orders to stay home. Um, so I loaded up four grocery carts full of stuff, um, a variety of things. But this is one of them. And I think I got about eight of these and I paid about $3 a piece. And these are my last two. They sold very quickly um, and they sold for $22 a piece. And I did free shipping on those. Okay, here we have, I got these at a church rummage sale, and I had um, a whole bunch of these that are little bunnies, and I've been selling those for $16 a piece, and then I have a witch, and I had this one little ice cream one, and it's just a little craft, basically, kid molds it, makes it look like ice cream, and then melts it, and then builds it again. I, I don't see what's great about it. But anyway, I got a large display box full of these, brand new for $7. And I've sold, you know, quite a few of them. This one I sold for $12.75 free shipping. Um, also at a different liquidation store, um, just a few weeks ago, they advertise all medicine and cleaning products. Of course, that's not the case anymore. They don't have any cleaning products anymore. Uh, but they were doing $2 on everything. So I got uh, an Ikea bag full of medications. And I have sold a lot of them um, already. And this one in particular sold for $23 and free shipping. And I made sure everything was in date and sealed. Um, let's see. I got this at that same place. It's a nail dip. I think I paid a dollar for this. And I sold it for 11 free ship. This is a makeup product. And it is sealed under the cap. I got it at a thrift store a while ago. I think this is the last one. I got a handful of products. And they were 50 cents a piece. And let's see. This one sold for $23.50. Okay, back over here. That same thrift store, um, quite some time ago, I got these PC games for 50 cents a piece, and they're opened and used, and I did not have much interest on them. They've been listed for a while, and I went ahead and sold them for quite a bit less than I had initially asked. Um, I think I had these marked like 60% off or something, but $30 for those. So it's still a pretty decent profit. Just not what I thought I would get. Okay, at the liquidation store where I loaded up the four carts, I got all of these little Lego mats, I guess. Um, 
and I got them for a dollar a piece and this is all that I had left and I sold them all this weekend. I sold two sets of two for $24 and I sold one by itself for $13 and those are going free shipping. Uh, these Allegria comfort shoes came from the liquidation store. Got a lot of shoes from them. I had another pair that I already shipped off yesterday that sold for $80. Um, I think I spent $400 on all that stuff. So I'm probably in the profit already. I'm, yeah, I'm positive I am. Got a lot of toys. I wish I had videoed for you guys more of that stuff. Um, but these I paid $12.50 for and they sold for $50 plus shipping and they're new. They're just, there's just no box. Okay, at the church rummage sale where I got the little ice cream melties, I uh, got these two things here. This uh, Pirates of the Caribbean Mickey Mouse ears from Disney World. I think they probably just threw this in. I wouldn't think I'm in it for any any more than a dollar but probably not even that and let's see so this is the Jack Sparrow um, Mickey Mickey ear and it sold for $25 free ship and that's real light and it folds into itself so it'll be easy to ship and then this Vera Bradley it's new with tags um, it was marked 50 cents at the church rummage sale and it's just a little makeup kit I think like a travel cosmetic <laughs> yeah so that sold for $20 and free shipping I don't pick up Vera Bradley unless it's a really really good price and in really really good condition um, but I'm really glad that I picked this one up um, this is a little serving tray there was a good comp on it but it was only one and I've had this for quite some time. I paid 50 cents for it at a thrift store. And um, after quite some time not selling, I went ahead and sold it for $8 plus shipping. But they had to pay like $11 in shipping on the thing. Um, it's pretty pretty heavy. Um, I mean, probably go at two pounds. And then this is an acoustic guitar processor. And this was just something that my husband had that he didn't use anymore and um, it sold for $48. All right, I'm gonna get this stuff packed up and I'll show you some more. Okay, I put those out and here is round two. A uh, couple of clothing items. I have a lot more clothing items, but I went ahead and pulled the ones that sold most recently. Um, back to the four shopping carts full at the liquidation store. I paid about $4 for this little train set and it sold for $34. These little Disney villain Zoom Zooms I've had for a, quite a while. Um, I really don't even remember exactly where I got them, but they sold for $23. And then this is a uh, UV protection sun visor hat and I picked it up about a year ago, I think. And also this uh, Cup She New With Tag swimsuit. Uh, both came from yet another liquidation store and the swimsuit was in a 25 cent bin. I picked up dozens of swimsuits uh, that they had thrown in a 25 cent bin, new with tags. And then the hat, I think was a dollar. They have different days, like it starts out at $5 and then, um, it goes down to three and then two and then one um, and then they restock um, but they do that over a period of a month I think so I think this one was a dollar and it sold for eighteen dollars plus shipping this is an Athleta pullover and it's in nice condition it has a stripe down the side so it's kind of cool looking and I paid six dollars no 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 five dollars for this at Goodwill and I think it's been about six weeks since I got it and this sold for $29 plus shipping um, I was surprised about that when somebody just bought it I had best offer on it I assumed somebody would have made an offer but happy about that this is a Maurice's lace mint green plus size dress um, I like to buy plus size Maurice's pieces and um, this went for $18 
And this is a Victoria's Secret sweatshirt, and I've had it for a long time. Um, I went ahead and sold it for $10 plus shipping. This is a men's Lucky Brand t-shirt. It's got a motorcycle on it. And it's a ringer tee. And that sold for $14 plus shipping. And these are some Free People blue jean shorts. I think I've had them for... I think I got them in September, toward the end of September. So it's just now coming into short season, so I see why they hadn't sold yet. Um, and they sold for $23 plus shipping. Okay, next we have more clothing and shoe type items. Um, this is a pair of Lucky Brand black leather clogs, and I thought these were going to do really well. Um, I think I actually paid up quite a bit for them, like around $8, but I've had them for a long time. Um, so I went ahead on those and took $15 plus shipping. I mean, I've had them for a long time and the season is over for them now. So I'll go ahead and move them. Um, that was eBay. Now this was a bundle on Poshmark and I got these Brooks sneakers at a consignment store for $2.00. This was her kind of a sidewalk sale type situation, trying to move out old inventory. And then this is a Free People long sleeve dress, and I've had it for a little bit. And um, I sold that together in a bundle for $40. And then this is another Poshmark bundle. This is fitting. It's a short sleeve sweatshirt, and it's embroidered, and it says Permanent Vacation. Um, I got this at that liquidation store where I uh, got four carts full of stuff. And I believe this was less than a dollar after all was said and done. And it is new. Um, so permanent vacation, short sleeve shirt. Then this tank top that I've had forever and a day. It says, this girl runs on cupcakes and Jesus. And then these coach flat leather shoes. I got these for $3 at a thrift store. When I got them, it looked like the person had bought them. Look at they're in fantastic condition. And they probably hurt their feet. So they had put a whole bunch of baby powder on them. So the things were covered in baby powder. Therefore, the thrift store let me buy them for 3 bucks. Came home, got a Clorox wipe, wiped them down. They look great. So I had these listed for 65 So I'm in that for 3 This thing I've had forever, and I'm probably in it for maybe maybe two dollars and then this i'm in for about a dollar so we're looking at you know maybe five bucks that i am in this for so i had these listed for 65 you know they wanted these two items so i just said okay i'll give it all to you for 65 so you know it sounds really good on their end but then i sold something for 65 dollars that i'm in for five bucks so good for everybody um, this is a pair of J. Crew kind of seersucker ankle length cropped pants. And that is J. Crew, not J. Crew Factory. It makes a little bit of a difference. That sold for $13 plus shipping. This is a long sleep t shirt and it's by The Mountain. And it has a really artistic picture of a pit bull on it. And um, I kind of have a theory that people really like their breeds of certain animals so they're really dedicated to a certain breed and they like stuff uh, memorabilia that goes along with those so i'll pick things like that up if i get it really cheap um, i wouldn't put much money into it uh, but this sold for 13 dollars plus shipping this is just a plus size t-shirt that says teacher by the grace of god probably came from a yard sale um it sold on sale i have a couple of sales running in my store just trying to get the get old things moved out uh real cheap but this one was eight dollars and forty cents plus shipping this is a tory richard hawaiian button front shirt i've had it forever and it sold for twenty dollars plus shipping and it's going via the global shipping program and then these I got at Clothes Mentor for $2 on their clearance rack. And these are a pair of William Rast skinny jeans with these um, kind of button detail bottoms. And they sold for, oh, 
I thought I wrote everything down, but they sold on Poshmark, and I think it was around $22 that they sold for. Okay, another batch, all eBay sales here. We have some vintage Scrabble tiles, and these are from a word game, and they've been listed for a really long time. Uh, they sold for $15.70. Then I have some bass brown leather sandals. Had those for quite a while as well. And they sold for $10.01 plus shipping. And these were on sale in my store. I think I had them 30% uh, off. This is some Indate baby formula. And I got it at the liquidation store where I also got this and this. Um, I paid $8 for it, and I, I knew that it would sell. I knew that I wasn't going to make a whole lot, but I knew that there um, really wasn't much risk involved, that it would sell pretty quickly. Um, when you come to these specialty baby formulas, especially if you can get them in bulk, they sell really, really well. Uh, one time I got a different brand at this liquidation store. I think I paid like a dollar a piece, and I was able to get about 12 of them and sold them for over $100. Um, but this sold for $33. Then these uh, Genius Diet Pills were $2, and they sold for $25 free shipping. These Omega-3 Vitamins also $2, sold for $28 free shipping. You can see me in this, uh, my very messy shop here, but this uh, bar mirror, we got at a yard sale for $2. Um, I think towards the end of yard sale season last year, I got three different bar mirrors, and this is the second one to sell. Uh, so they didn't move quickly. Um, this was $35 plus shipping. This is a Kate Spade wallet. And it's in really nice condition. It's super clean. Uh, it just has that little ding on it, which I took a close-up picture of. I was really uh, tempted to keep this for myself, but I have a Kate Spade wallet with a cupcake on it that I really love. So um, I like these whimsical, silly things. But I got this at a thrift store, and it was in the glass case. And, you know, it's a lot of hassle to ask to see something in the glass case. And you pretty much assume at this store that the price is going to be ridiculous. Um, but this one I noticed had the color tag of the week. This store does 30% off one week, and then the next week those items are 50% off. So this one had been there long enough that it was 50% off. And I believe I paid less than $10 for it. Um, and it sold for $49 plus shipping. And then clothing items. This is a Sparrow by Anthropology cardigan sweater. And it sold for $15 plus shipping. This is a J. Crew cashmere cardigan sweater. Look at me selling these cardigans in April. Um, and it sold for $21 plus shipping. This is a Tommy Bahama long sleeve men's button up shirt. And it sold for $15 plus shipping. And this is a vintage Chaps Ralph Lauren sweatshirt. And it's got um, quite a bit of wear on it, but I think the wear really adds to the look. Um, it's, it's around the collar, around the arms. Um, there's a little bit of cracking. I was very careful in noting everything in it. Um, this sold pretty quickly for $17 plus shipping. I think I got that for a dollar at a thrift store. And here are the last of the Poshmark sales going out. Um, this was a bundle of three items. Uh, it's a pair of new Sanook sandals. I got them at a thrift store for $2. Um, they've never been worn. This is an Ann Taylor knee-length skirt. And then this is a J. Crew chambray shirt blouse. And I've had both of these for a while. Probably got them at the dollar sale at a thrift store that I go to. And then these, yeah, were two. So uh, that all sold together for $33. This is a Vince sweater. And surprisingly, here it is, almost summer. And uh, this is pretty bulky. It's knit, great condition. It sold for $33. I love this t-shirt. It is brand new. Um, I got it for a dollar at probably the same thrift store that I'm thinking I got those at. 
and it says Texas on it, and it's got a, you know, a post and a, a holster with a gun and a rope and a cowboy hat. Um, it's a neat, real neat graphic, and it sold for $20, and this is an American Eagle dress. I think I got it on 50 Cent Day, and it sold for $13. Of course, on Poshmark, buyer pays shipping on all of those things, and I believe all of these were offer from the buyer so I didn't give any shipping discounts. I'm going to show you the things I am shipping out on this Friday morning. I uh, noticed a lot of things today came from a church rummage sale that we went on, went to the first Saturday in March. and. We were just, I mean, the prices were really, really low anyway, but um, just loading down Ikea bags full of stuff because they were giving us even better prices than were on there. So a lot of these things I paid very, very little for. Um, but then uh, a couple of things also from the liquidation stores that I've mentioned. Um, so I'm just kind of go through these things. Um, first, this is, I don't even know what this is, an Osmo iPhone base. Apparently, it's some kind of game. And here's like a little gift card so you can download a game. I got this at the liquidation store because it was less than a dollar. And they had a lot of them. And I thought I'd get it just to try it out and see what happened. Um, it sold relatively quickly. Um, but I only got a little over $11 for it, and that's free ship, so it probably costs about $5 to ship, so I'm not in a big hurry to, you know, go get any more of those. Okay, this is a pair of Kate Spade wedge heels, and I got them at a, um, at a clothes mentor $2 sale, I think, and I've had some interest on these, but really no offers. Um, so I went ahead and took $30 plus shipping for those. I paid two, so that's okay. This is a little leather nautical koozie. The reason I got it was because it had a $30 price tag on it. I'm like, my goodness. John Hart Design. I don't know. Um, but that's from that uh, church rummage sale. And... I sold it for $15 free shipping. So, wow. Okay. I wouldn't pay $15 for a koozie, but somebody would. This came from the church rummage sale, and it would be really good, but it's not complete. Um, I just have kind of an assortment of pieces in here. Um, interesting that a Thanksgiving piece sold. Um, but it's got some of the people, some of the little backdrops. This is from the early 90s. So, um, I actually had quite a few washers on that, and it sold, you know, I, I wasn't really concerned about getting a whole lot for it since it wasn't complete. I didn't check it before I bought it because it was, it was a dollar. Um, so I figured if there's anything in there it was worth it for parts, but it sold for $23 plus shipping. Did great on some shoes. Um, these are a pair of Merrells. I got them at the liquidation store right before quarantine started. I think I might have paid as much as $8 for these. Um, man, they look cozy. They'd be great to wear around the house. So it's got the rubber bottom, but then it's fully lined, cozy inside. And uh, those sold for $39 plus shipping. Now this, I was excited last night when my phone dinged and I had over a $100. Um, these are some racquetball shoes. Um, I just looked up all of the shoes or just grabbed them at the liquidation store that were really inexpensive. I think I paid around $10 for these and I hadn't heard of them before, but they seem to be pretty good quality. Um, Extalon, Extalon racquetball shoes. Uh, let's see if the side here gives you some more information. Um, but those sold for $88 plus shipping and they paid a good little bit for shipping. Uh, this is a Steve Madden purse. Had it for quite a while and um, it sold for $9.80 on sale. I think I had it on 40% off 
and they paid shipping on top of that. Then from a different liquidation store, not the one that I got the uh, four carts full of, uh, but the one where I got the medications, um, this sold, uh, man, that bag is getting empty. I've sold almost all of that stuff. Um, this is a Mushroom Wisdom Maitake D, I don't know, medication that supports a healthy immune system. It's sold for $19, free shipping. This is an essential oil, also from that same liquidation store, but not the same trip. I've had this one for a long time. I've just been selling these, uh, just one every now and again for months now, um, but I think I paid less than a dollar for them, and this is an anise seed essential oil, and it sold for $13 and free shipping. Here is a Sony controller, DualShock 2 for the PlayStation. I threw that in the bag at the church rummage sale, probably in at about a dollar, and it sold for $15. Okay, <laughs> I don't know what this thing is. Wishing Ball and Gratitude Globe. And then it says that this is for the month of November and it's topaz. And it comes with some cards of some kind. Something mystical. I don't know. Anyway, that came from the church rummage sale. We just threw it in the box. We didn't know what it was, but it was 50 cents, I think. Um, and let's see. What did that sell for? It sold for $21.40. But free shipping. So I'll have to ship that very carefully. These are some cut from the cloth jeans. Um, these used to do pretty well. Nowadays, they're not as exciting, but these are a skinny leg, and they're also this raw hem. If you see a raw or released hem on the bottom of jeans, uh, it's a little bit more modern. Um, and these sold, I was surprised because I had best offer on them, but they just paid out $23 plus shipping. And this was a great deal at the liquidation store. Um, they had these, I mean, they have all kinds of interesting random brands, but most of them are, you know, JCPenney brands, things that come from Amazon that are like no branded. Um, they get a lot, a lot, a lot of Target. And they had all of these men's All Saints long sleeve shirts, new with tags. Now this is not US dollars on here, so I don't know what that converts to. I guess that's Great Britain. Um, but All Saints is a, is a very high-end brand. Uh, I think I got like 12 of these shirts. They were $2 a piece. And I think this is the third one I've sold. I've got them listed at like $75, but at $2 in, I'm cool with, um, a lot of different offers. So this one sold for, uh, $40 plus shipping. So, cool. So, that's what's going out on this Friday. You guys, thank you so much for watching. Uh, this will probably be the last clip uh, for the week. I did have some Poshmark orders to show you. Um, this Britney Spears shirt sold for $17. And then this pile of clothes was all part of a clear out that I have at the bottom of my closet on Poshmark. Um, just things that haven't been moving that I've had for a long time that I'm uh, bundled up uh, quite very cheap. I think I sold this whole pile for $18. No, it was $23, $23. Uh, basically, I'm getting my money back on those um, because they were all sorted very cheaply. Thanks so much for watching, guys. This is Amy at Hello Thrifty. Hopefully, I'll be making another video soon. I have a couple of hauls. I've come up with some interesting ways to do a little sourcing here. Um, so, I'll see you later. Thanks for watching. Bye.